Shalom, everyone. I hope that you are doing fabulous. Thanks for joining for a general reading. If you are returning back, welcome back. And if you're new, my name is Shannon. I'm glad to have you. My channel is going to be a lot different than what you're used to. I look at a lot of criminal activity most of the time. So I always just say buckle up. You will get scripture here, but I'm not a religious person. I probably could come across real heavy that way. I'm for the truth. And the truth is the truth is the truth. And the truth comes by the way of the commandments and the law of the great divine in whom people call the universe, but his name forever is Jehovah. Uh, you'll just have to learn me as we go. I think people have just been, um, I don't know what people think when you, I mean, a lot of times people think be just because you love the scripture that they just put you in this little box. And uh, the scripture just teaches us how to walk in the truth, people. And it teaches us how to stay away from things that don't have life in it. And um, anyway, if you've never heard that the scripture was in the tarot, yes, it's absolutely here. I will put a little um, discussion down in the description box. It's called Divination Judgment. And you can, um, you know, watch it. And uh, I go into the scripture and show you where this can be found here. Uh, anyway, welcome to this channel. You'll just have to learn me as we go. So I'm glad to have you. Happy birthday, happy anniversary, all of that. And if you keep the feast days of your whole then uh, beautiful it is the feast of unleavened bread and I'm excited uh, for this week and so I've just uh, taken time to just spend uh, with Yola and uh, just listening to his spirit and anyway here I am here you are <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just talking let's go ahead and just get in here and see what's going on in this message Yola, I appreciate you for this day Jehovah, come on in here and prophesy by way of the spirit of prophecy, which is Yeshua. We ask for the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, by way of your Holy Spirit to come forth and to reveal whatever we need to know. Thank you. Somebody's back and forth about something. I guess they're back and forth about something. This could be a secret physical exchange for some people, I guess, depending on who you are, what your morals and ethics are about and stuff like that. Um, this is about a decision, somebody back and forth about making a decision. Well, a double-minded man is unstable in all of his ways. A decision is here. Let every word be established in two or three witnesses. And the truth, decision because of the truth. Uh, I guess I'm going to take all these. Some type of a message is here. Decision about giving a message. There's been strife around some ordeal, I guess so. Um, five, six, seven, somebody's been blocking, uh, there's been defensiveness around here, uh, in some situations, I guess, uh, with seven wands, that's putting up your walls, right? Some type of a clarity and truth is here. It could be two pregnancies around some ordeal as well. Somebody's stuck with the hangman trying to figure out what to do getting my balance this is stormy waters when the hangman comes out home matters are here uh new relationships okay but this is a favorable testimony somebody will make up their mind to give a favorable testimony about home matters whatever this is be receptive this is um you know about being receptive receptivity is here something's emotional because it's stormy out here around this situation all right let me take from a different uh, card deck and let's see what's going on with some of this energy um now let me use this little deck here give me just a second guys i didn't know that i was going to use this other deck but i'm film led to so give me just a sec to grab it all right show me the messages if somebody has already gave a message and now it's caused somebody to go oh my god what do i do I'm stuck here or somebody is seeing something from a different point of view or needs to or it's got somebody flipped up to have to figure out what to do at this point then that's the energy that's really showing out here show me this message what's this message for if you're dealing with prison and stuff like that that's a prison card somebody's crazy that the mental energy was so big and strong on my uh, spoon channel just a minute ago in that reading I had three cards that had something about confusion and split personality and mental case all right so this is a confusion and Elohim is not a god of confusion folks this somebody don't have no balance here uh, around some matter okay well whatever's taking place or whatever's fixing to take place hopefully you'll find your way okay prison okay like I said if that's prison then so that's prison 
somebody's dealing with somebody's either already been in prison, gonna go to prison, need to go to prison, whatever that is, prison is here. Okay, the house. Okay, well, the scripture also talks about people have been in prison houses as well. This, so we have the house right here. When the four of wands comes out, that's home matters as well. Uh, some type of a wedding situation could have been here with the four of wands. Uh, some type of a celebration went down around some matter. Something was stormy, something been sacrificial, then so be it. Um, this is home security, things like that. Somebody's home is here. Okay, inheritances, things like that is also here. What else do you want to bring out here? So this is what the communication is about. About some type of a prison matter or legal matter uh, around home. Okay, and some spiritual is here as well. Okay, this is a spiritual judgment when the priest comes out. Um, you know, obviously some, some type of a religious energy or a person involved in something so be it a reunion is here or again something happened around a, a celebration maybe it was a family reunion or something like that then so be it some type of a communication is what we're looking at um is here around that all right well show us the truth you hold what's the truth about here okay he's wanting me to grab a different deck the wife card is at the bottom of this deck just a minute ago when I stopped. Uh, this is somebody who's neglected their responsibility somewhere. Okay, we got children involved in some stuff. She's got a baby on her on on her lap as well. This is also my Empress card. So somebody of interest is here around some marital situation or something like that. Then so be it. Um, where is the Lenormand deck? Hold on just a minute. Show me the truth. What's this truth here about? Because there's clarity here. And yet there's confusion here. Some some people may know what they need to do about somebody who is confused. That need to go to prison because they're kook around something. Then so be it. Something very sacrificial has been here. Or is here. Show me this truth please. Jehovah. What is this clarity about? Thank you. The, the truth and the lie. This, this is a seducing card. And that energy was also in my spoon reading. This person talks about both sides of their mouth. Somebody was seduced. Okay. somebody Or somebody's trying to seduce somebody. Somebody's sitting here trying to figure out, do I need to give this message? Um, I'm turned upside down. How do I do something because I'm stuck? But they're a liar. And some truth is out here around this liar. Then so be it. And somebody somebody's a freak out here, man. Uh, this is not a good card to get. This is a, a seducing piece of crap. The seductress is out here. Okay? And something's out here around this. So the, the truth and the lie is out here. And uh, the snake needs the head chopped off. Somebody needs their tongue pulled out of them and chopped off for lying about some stupidness. They're crazy. Somebody dealing with a crazy freak. There's a gentleman here involved in some situation somebody's like this is a plotting card somebody is sitting here plotting going back and forth this is also a plotting card here <laughs> i say bring it try it so see what's going to take place with you huh see what's going to take place with you somebody's trying to figure out how to escape this is also a escapism so is this how do what are my alternatives how do i get out of here especially if somebody is again returning to try to seduce you because like i said it was really big the truth about somebody trying to seduce somebody because they got an ulterior motive is out here. People that I mean, people don't just do that just for they think that you're all that in a bag of chips that they're they're, they're in some type of stupidness or entangled in something. All right, so we have the letter communication. Somebody's in their head about some kind of communication returning stuff. I guess so. Somebody better run the other direction. Now, if that's past energy. You're going to come clean and give some type of a favorable testimony about some situation and cut the head of the snake off? Then great. Somebody need to go jail for something that's been out here because we had, the grave was there in my uh, other reading just a minute ago. This isn't just communication. This is um, something legal could be here. Okay, some type of a legal letter could be here. Uh, inheritances is already out here. 
uh, a reward of some kind could be here with this letter card. We had postal stupidness come out yesterday, so, you know, that should be a federal offense. And those people are going to go to jail for that kind of stuff. You don't have a right to get in people's mo uh, postal boxes and do some stupid or sign off in other people's uh, uh, projects or bank accounts or anything like that. You don't have a right to do that crap. Gold. Yeah, there is money out here and somebody's ego is out here. Well, I have a devil card that has ego over the top of it. We are dealing with the devil. Okay, because the devil's a kook. Somebody's a freak out here. Somebody's ego is just, my God, look at me kind of stuff with this stupid snake out here. Okay, dorms or rooms or whatever. You know, we got a house energy that's here as well. Somebody trying to figure out how to seduce somebody, come back around somebody's home because of something that's out here because there's gold here or money or we got a thief when uh, the snake comes out, folks. You will go to prison. You are going to go to prison. We're going to see to it. Every last one of you freaks is going to go to prison for some stuff that you deserve to go to prison for. There ain't no way out for you liars. You're being judged. Uh, yeah, you got 24 hours to make something right. You ain't going to see something coming. Yeah. Heavy storm. So it's right here. This is Stormy Waters card right there. And you can't escape it. You got 24 hours to make something right. Uh, this is a psychedelic card, poison, stuff like that. We got drugs right here. Somebody's involved in some type of drugs, and I guess they are. Then I guess they are. It's, you know, you got 24 hours, and some people are worthy of an execution, and you'll be pumped up with the poison, and you'll go out into eternity. And uh, that's the ch ch kind of life you chose. You went down the path of death. There's only two choices. There's only two paths, truth or the lie. Okay, and it came out on the snake. Whoever this gentleman is, is a very significant person involved in something. It's a professional involved in something. This person could be around the snake. This person could be this snake for some people. Y'all, we just picked through my hands. So there's been a witch out here who performs spells on people. Ooh, well, your little spell work don't work. Okay, it just don't work. You, you, you're gonna be the one in freaking prison. You went cuckoo. Okay, uh, Jehovah's going to rain down some stuff on you, the dump yard. Well, your excrement is what you are. Oh, we, we, ain't, we ain't moved by you freaks. There's a kingdom out here. Well, the kingdom of Elohim, let it come. Okay, something spiritual going on out here, especially when you're dealing with freaks at sacrifice. This goes back to, to speaking about a queen and a kingdom. Okay, so if we're talking about, you know, over in the British section of things in the earth, then I guess so. Um, some type of uh, yielding of a protection is also here. Yes, and you have already brought out my other reading that, you know, you and I are protected. Obviously, if we're standing in the truth, we stand standing in the truth. A family member is involved in some situation. Again, we have home situations out here. Family, family bonds, stuff like that. Separate energy. Um, to divide or to separate something is here. Okay, to sever something. and to, Again, like I said, snakes getting the head cut off. Just like the book of Enoch says in this hour, okay, the wicked will be turned over to the righteous and we will not have pity on the snake that talks out of both sides of their freaking face, okay, and they will get their neck chopped off just like it has been prophesied. This is a big prophecy card when it comes out, folks, a big prophecy card. We have spiritual matters out here going on, and so the snake's going to be divided, okay? So anyway, we'll be glad to see the wicked go away. You don't get to put no spells on nobody because we're protected in Yeshua's name. Um, gathering energy is also here a gathering of people or a gathering of objects and things like that is also out here in this reading okay somebody's stuck somebody's gonna got, got some type of a uh, communication they're gonna have to give somebody who deserves to go to prison or why they kept somebody else in some type of a stupid prison there's money around some stuff you got to get up and make a choice today you can plot all day long, but you ain't getting away and you ain't escaping the great commandment of Yehovah uh, in this hour. So, uh, what is this? Okay, the sun just came out in that uh, spoon reading that I just did as well. That When sun comes out, and, and in wording actually in that reading, it said that the sun was shining on this. Okay, 
All right. Well, when the sun comes out, that's a governmental energy as well. And uh, the sun is a forcible overthrow for some bright future. This is a victory within something. Something's going to be right up in somebody's face. I guess so. The sun's a great big ball of fire. Okay. And Yehovah is going to burn some people that deserve to be burned out here because of the stupidness that they've done because they've stayed in their freaking ego. Okay. So that when the sun comes out, something positive is taking place. And somebody got 24 hours to make up their mind. Uh, whatever side of the road you're going to get on, you're going to go down the path of death and death is what it will be if you're going to go down the path of life then then great you know i wouldn't waste a single time okay all you snakes that got the seed of um satan in in you there is no there is no repentance for you nasty freaks in the earth you're the son of bel -El, uh, and you you're just you're just disgusted at this point those of you who can hear today you got 24 hours to do the right thing. I'd get it done real quick. Somebody's got some type of a confession that they need to make around some kook that's done some disgraceful thing. Then you really need to get up and do that. Same type of message that was just coming out in my uh, other readings to let every word be established in two or three witnesses. Somebody can go to prison even for eternity beyond this realm.